This is the Insta360 X4. It's not really a brand new release from Insta360, but it recently got me excited this past few days because of the new update on the app. Now, when I post footage from my Insta360 cameras, whether that's way back with the X2 or the X3, a lot of people would send me a message and asking how I capture those videos. And most of the time they think that it's a drone footage. And when I say it's an Insta360 camera, they would get excited and would plan on getting one of those cameras. But when I explain how you edit the videos, that's where they kind of back off and say, this might be too much work for me. But that may change for a lot of people because of this new app update. But before we continue, if you're new to the channel, hi, my name is Nico. I create videos about camera gear and other content creation equipment. I'm not a professional photographer or videographer. I used to professionally edit at a podcast company, but all the opinions here on this channel is from a perspective of an everyday tech dad. And if you're into those kinds of videos, please do highly consider subscribing to the channel. Now, back to the app update. Now, before I explain what the app updates are, let me just, you know, go back and just quickly explain how you actually edit your videos using the Insta360 app before. All right, so as you can see on my screen, this is uh, how you edit in the Insta360 app. So as you can see, since you've captured the whole 360 image, you can like swipe and see different views uh, that was captured by the 360 camera. And let's say I want to um, start with this frame, with this image, I will have to tap this plus icon and that means it set or it created a keyframe and it will, and it will save this, uh, all, of this, all of the settings that I have in this frame. So if I want to, lay, let's say, fix the rotation, want to straighten myself up like that, then it will save it in that keyframe. And then you can just play this and it will stay in that uh, keyframe. Now, why is it like considered you know, tiresome? or complicated to edit um, Insta360 clips, it's because that keyframe or that view will stay even if you change your position. So as you can see, once we get to this part wherein I turn left with my bike, then I'm already not in frame because the, the view did not change. So manually, to do that manually, you probably would have to stop here before, right before you make the turn, create a keyframe. And then once you turn, you set another keyframe and then reframe the image again to you. And update the keyframe. So that's how you do it manually. All right, so as you can see, there. I am still in the center. Now, even before the update, Insta360 has a, uh, feature here called deep track wherein again let's do this uh, let's start here I want myself in frame press deep track and then you just select which object person you want to, to, to track or to put in center and then click start tracking so what it does is it keeps whatever you selected in the middle of the frame. So if your edit will be as simple as this, keeping the subject in the frame, then you already have deep track even before the update, all right? So let's see, let's wait for it to go until the that same point. It'll probably edit it better than me, uh, than what I did earlier. So there you go, I've turned uh, left already and I am still in the center. Now let's stop that. If we play it, there you go. And I was in the center the whole time. Now there is an update here when I press keyframe that I believe this wasn't in the options before and it is called movement. So when I click movement, you can see that there are different types of uh, camera movement options when you look at the options here, like switch, drag up, pull left to right. So Let's see if I, again, I wanna start here and we choose left to right. And look at the, the angle, there you go. You didn't do any keyframing, 
uh, it did it for you if you want it to start in the front and then you know rotate it to the subject now before before this this movement uh, feature let me reset it you will do it like this keyframe move the video forward a bit probably create a keyframe here where you want the, the panning to start and then create another keyframe and put yourself in the middle update the keyframe this is how you do it manually before without that movement feature there you go but now no more keyframes needed just choose from these different options of movement let's say um, out and in out and in there you go Whoop. You know, you know those subtle effects that you usually need to do manually through keyframing you can now do using these movement features so that is the first update that i noticed here in the app and the second one is the ai editing feature as you can see here you have pro quick and ai now the quick mode i think this is like just like the viewfinder mode in the previous uh, version of the app where in whenever you move your camera the the view follows so it's just like the viewfinder mode uh they just probably changed the name but this is where i am excited about ai all right so if you go into ai and then you see here clips it has three clips writing selfie it's basically three different views of the same footage you've taken using the insta360 camera and writing scenery like on the side and uh, when you click auto edit there you go it's editing rendering video 60 percent there you go it's done you now have a 45 second video which was taken from my the, the original clip was four minutes 30 seconds i believe it's i know i'm sure it's more than four minutes now you've got a 45 minute clip edited by the app and this also comes with music i don't know if it's a bit loud there you go i don't know if you hear it all right so it is an amazing feature especially for those who just want you know to take footage put it in their phones their app click auto edit and just upload the videos immediately it saves you time especially if you're not the type of person who likes editing um, personally i like to have more control although i can see myself um, using this feature you know for for quick on the go output just you know for for instagram stories for youtube shorts you know quick run and gun just posting uh videos and let's see if it's a nice edit i'm going to post this exact video right now <music> So tell me what you think. That was all the app that was edited by the app. No input from me, although you will have um, flexibility to edit the app. Oh, not the app, edit the footage when you click edit. You can actually select the, the clips. As you can see, there's 5.2 seconds, 4.8 seconds, 3.6 seconds. Uh, you can adjust the length of the clip. You can change Wait, let me lower the volume you can change the movement that it used because because basically this is just you know the app getting clips applying movements from uh from the app 
So there is still flexibility when it comes to the auto AI editing, but you also retain, of course, if you want to use the Pro tab, the Pro version, it is still there. And to be honest, I think this will open up the Insta360 you know, cameras to more people, especially to those who do not want to spend that much time editing 360 footage. So that's it for this video. If you are a non-Insta360 X camera user, just because you don't like to deal with you know tedious editing workflows will this update make you buy an insta an insta 360 camera share your thoughts in the comment section below and if you'd like to check out other videos about camera gear and other content creation equipment please do check out my other videos here